Now that we have set the goal and built the foundation to activate our study, let's move forward to the book study phase. It's a good practice to schedule your exam date at the beginning of this phase. There are three principles. Align your study to the exam outline. Value comprehension over memorization. And use the book's companion practice questions. As you know, there are eight domains in the CISP exam outline. I refer to the first level heading as the subject, the second level heading as the topic. Read the exam outline every day and each time before you dive into the study guide for details. Explain the exam outline to yourself or colleagues. If you can't make it, then refer to the study guide or the CBK to learn new stuff. You have to be able to elaborate on the exam outline, including titles, subjects, topics, and terminologies in each domain. It's challenging to do so, but it's effective. CISSP is a management test in nature. Comprehension is the key to success. Rote memorization will fail you. It won't make you succeed to study from cover to cover without a foundation or a blueprint. It won't make you succeed either to learn by memorization without comprehension. Comprehension is about understanding concepts. The concept I refer to is the knowledge of applying the principles to make good use of the facts you learned in real life. You don't have to memorize everything except the essential facts and principles. However, you have to think intensively how to apply them in practices and ask why all the time. To do so, your experience, discussions with others, practice of quality questions are crucial. Both the Cybex Study Guide and the AIO have more than 1,000 companion practice questions as an online service. Please remember to register to get access to it. You can consider using the test-driven strategy. That is, you do practice questions before diving into the study guide for details. Do all the questions until your correct rate is higher than 95%. If this objective is achieved, you should feel quite comfortable about the exam outline and have finished the study guide. It's about time for you to move forward to the next phase. The certification phase is the final sprint to sit for the exam. If you haven't scheduled your exam date, please do so. You should achieve three objectives in this phase. Do more quality questions. Sharpen your answering skills and know the exam online inside out. Not all questions are created equal. Don't do those questions without answers or justifications. Quality questions are designed to verify your knowledge and concepts. Compensate for the weak areas of your experience. Improve your reasoning process and sharpen your answering skills. I've created and shared a few quality questions on my blog, and there are many quality sources available. Some of them are free, while some are paid services. For example, questions of the day from IT Dojo on YouTube is free. To do more quality questions, you can consider path services, such as the study nodes and theory from Luke, 
or authority teaches on Udemy. Typically, a question is composed of three parts, the scenario, the question sentence, and the four answer options. Most people read questions from top to button and answer after reading, but I suggest the opposite way. I call it the gas strategy. That is, browse the four answer options first. Guess and select one answer on intuition. Then read the question sentence to answer to the point as the second try. Finally, read the scenario to make an informed decision. It's all right to change your mind in any step. However, do guess and select one answer at the very first step. It helps stabilize your mind psychologically, and intuition is often the best guess. The correct answer to a poorly designed question can be identified just through browsing the answer options. Besides, you can observe some patterns of the answer options, such as pair or sequence. After reading the question sentence. You may eliminate the answer options that are apparently wrong. I call them the aliens. The skill does not apply to all the questions, but it improves the correct answer rate and efficiency. Review the exam online every day. If you bump into any topic that you can't explain, refer to the study guide. Of the CBK, study and improve until you can elaborate on the exam outline well. If you know the exam outline inside out, and do more than two thousand five hundred questions, with a correct rate higher than ninety five percent, you're ready for the CSP exam. Preparing for the CSP exam is a tough journey. It needs a smart goal and effective plan. It needs good communication with your colleagues and families. It also needs stable financial support. Given all that, only the determination and discipline will make your dream come true. So please don't give up. Just keep going; your hard work pays off. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy your CSP journey. If you have any question, please feel free to contact me. This is Wen Zhu from Taiwan, an effective CISSP and professional instructor.